Hello everyone, John Waffle H2P here uh, with a video for the first time in about a month and a half. Wow. Um, so I have a little explaining to do. I've been kind of busy the past month or so, really didn't have time to focus on college football news. There's a lot of other stuff going on, but this channel is not dead, guys. And today I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the 12-team playoff format that is supposed to be coming out next year and if it will even stay like this because, as you guys know, there is a power to in play. There's a lot of lawyers going in play right now. Teams could be left out, but for now, all four conferences besides the two, Pac-2, Oregon State and Washington State, have a chance to make the playoff. I believe it's three to three for the Big Ten including the Big Ten and SEC championship. So three teams for the SEC th and three teams for the Big Ten. And I don't know if that includes the SEC and Big Ten championship. They may get their own spot like the one or tier, the one or two uh, slots, but we'll see how that goes. It's still pretty unknown. It looks like the Big 12 and ACC will have three teams. I think they actually have two slots, if I'm not mistaken, because of the strength of schedule. And either it's four spots for the SEC or the Big 10, both or and three spots for the ACC and Big 12 both, but I don't think that's how it's going to go. I think it's going to be at least two spots for each, the Big 12 and the S and the ACC. So, yes, they're the two conferences that are not part of the Power 2 technically have a power in play here. But the reality here is, I mean, we'll see how long it goes. Now, my little, I have a problem with this because they have to acknowledge the group of five here. This is something I don't understand. If they wanted to just leave the NCAA, why do we need to play Liberty? Why do we need to play Boise State? I mean, they are not helping Power 5 teams. And because of that, it's mostly because of like the Boise States, the Utahs, and the TCs, the UCFs of the world. It's because the Power 2, the SEC, and the Big Ten are splitting up. So Pitt looking on the outside looking in, I mean, we should be blaming those schools because, I mean, they always cry out foul play for every single thing. I mean, now UCF, of course, is a Big 12 school, so they can qualify, but you're going to have the Boise States. Liberty and Boise State is two teams that I've seen, like – all hyped up about and all this type of stuff. And I really don't want those teams in this playoff format. That is something I don't want. I mean, they're not strong enough. They will lose in the first round. And I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I just don't get why, why we need to have a group of five representative in every single thing. Like the Liberty Oregon game last year was like just race i mean the fact that no acc or hell no big 12 team i'll even say why the heck wasn't oklahoma state in in the fiesta bowl that would have been a more entertaining game than what the garbage that we got and it's because of that that the two of these two conferences were basically left out because we got to help the little guy that's just a, that's just insane and don't even get me started on what goes. Florida State, if they go undefeated, they're going to be in the playoff. That That's how they go. They're a national brand. But, of course, they're trying to leave and go to the ACC, SEC or the Big Ten. Um, and, I mean, that's something that we got to be worried about. Now, a lot of things, like I'm a little getting, going to switch up a little bit, seeing what I'm seeing. Like, why is Texas Tech in the – why the heck is TCU a candidate for the Big Ten? I don't know if that's true, but that is complete bullshit. I mean, complete bullshit. I mean, I, are you really going to say, well, they have the Dallas area? No, they don't. They don't own shit. Excuse my language. They don't own anything. I mean, that is a private school. I mean, a lot of people from other people are move, uh, from other states are moving to the Fort Worth area. So don't get, tell me they're all they're, they're just going to start being TCU fans like they don't have other 
agendas like they don't have other teams they root for like they're they're not all like they're all college football fans i mean like are you serious people i mean come on i mean i know this is just like talk but like idiots on twitter i mean on x i mean you guys are are stupid but pitt pitt can't join the sec or the big 10 for god knows what i mean Oh, they, the SEC doesn't uh, expand north. That's why, because uh, they're like they're going to be arrogant if the, if the Big Ten are going to the south. Uh, they should head up to the north. And yeah, I guess the Penn State Ohio State sandwich in thing may not work for us in the Big Ten, unfortunately. Even though it would be a perfect fit, but I mean, it's just stupid how some of these idiots like think what's going on i mean are you really going to tell me texas tech is some type of masterful brand in texas i mean yeah they're like the third but i mean that's behind two of the biggest brands like texas a&m and texas why would you want to go for the third brand if you could just try to go and snatch texas a&m which i heard they're trying to do we'll see if that happens or not but i mean Enough of the rant. I mean, as of right now, it seems like the playoff format is in place. Although a lot of people are not happy for some reason because they would rather see Missouri, uh, a team that just warped themselves in uh, out of nowhere. They beat a crappy Ohio State team, and now there's some powerhouse because that's how people are defending this shit. I mean, they're most loyal to the conference, which is crazy. I mean, if I was an Alabama fan, I'm going to give a shit about what Georgia does. I mean, if I was a Georgia fan, I'm going to give a shit what Alabama does. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't care. I mean, I mean, you're pathetic if you root for the conference. I mean, I know a lot of people would. I mean, I know it. And I mean, I know like all these Vanderbilt, Mississippi State fans who don't do crap and just LARP in the conference, especially the South Carolina fans just scream SEC, SEC all the time. So, like, I mean, they and, and their teams don't do shit. And that's blatantly obvious, but that's not good enough. We need to have those crappy teams who always come in six to be in these type of conference, to be in the playoff because, because of strength of schedule, because losing to Texas A&M, but beating Mississippi State and then losing to Alabama and Georgia, but then the ending up seven and five, like is, is more valuable than going undefeated in the ACC when, where, the, where there is top 25 teams. I mean, come on, I'm not going to sit here and be an ACC homer, but this is stupid. Some of these idiots on X, I mean, they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, they're just idiots, brain dead idiots. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I mean, uh, I wanted to stay away from this for a while, but I mean, news has come out. I don't know how Pitt will do next year. A Narduzzi seems to not give a damn. So don't expect any playoff run from Pitt. I mean, I'm not trying to sound negative, but I don't like what's going on there right now. And I don't feel like making videos. This is another thing. I don't feel like making videos about every bad thing that's going on. You guys need to start getting together and start making funds. I don't know why we, I mean, we have all these billionaire alumni who don't do shit. I mean, I don't know why. Why Why? Did, why can't it be here? One guy is paying like the entire football team for Miami. I mean, like and he's not even half uh, of some of the people that we have. But, I mean, again, with my rant, I'm just here to talk about the playoff situation. I think it's fair without the group of five because they are just a disaster. They don't need to be in this crap. They really don't. But, I mean, it's probably an NCA thing. I mean, I'm against the NCA. I want every freaking team to lead the NCA. This is garbage. It really is. But, I mean, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So the 12 team playoff format is alive. Uh pow every single power four team as of right now will have a chance to play for a national championship coming this fall next year in 2020 coming this fall uh this year in 2024. Gosh, my <laughs> get all things mixed up sometimes, but and 
I'm back. I noticed I lost a few subscribers. Whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I would rather get to 50 so I could start doing live streams and stuff. But, I mean, I mean, I understand. I'm just not putting out content. I mean, I will start being – I'll start putting out content more the coming weeks, uh, especially during March Madness. Going to make more uh, commentary, may, may, maybe make more political videos, and especially I think I have one coming up soon. So stay tuned for that if you like that stuff. But for this, I mean, I'm not making any pit news until I get something good. I mean, if Narduzzi leaves or gets fired, I mean, I'll celebrate for that because I just don't like, I mean, he blew it last year. I know I'm being harsh, but he totally blew it. So that being said, guys, like, subscribe, share this video. And as always, guys, I'm back. Hail to pit.